You are now watching Power for Your Life Today with pastor and teacher Cot Rice and myself Tara Rice. Today's teaching is called the Foundation of Christianity. The Foundation of Christianity is not found in a denomination, a creed, a prayer or good works, but it's found only in the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is another gospel out there that puffs man up, but we need the gospel which lifts up the man, Jesus Christ. It is only then when the gospel of Jesus Christ is preached by the power of the Holy Spirit that there is a God change in the heart of mankind and supernatural results take place. You will be encouraged with this teaching, so let's join with my mother, Koch Rice, for today's gospel message the foundation of Christianity is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The foundation of Christianity is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to read now from the word of God. I'm going to read out 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. And we're going to listen, it, listen together, children. We're going to listen together by the power of the Holy Spirit. It says in the word of God, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst and they can ask me for anything. And this is part, this is the wholeness of the New Testament church. The Holy Spirit leads people together into the name of Jesus Christ, into the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's my prayer for us today, those of you who are not yet born again of God, and those of you who are truly born again of God, but you've allowed a sin separate you and out of fellowship with God. I, my prayer is that, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we're brought into the fellowship of the person, the Lord Jesus Christ. We're brought into the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and we have the unity together, darlings. You'll have peace of mind. You'll believe the word of God. Just stay soft in your heart. Just stay soft in your heart as I read out 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse one to four, all important, the centrality of the cross of Jesus Christ, the incomparable Christ. Everything has been made through him and for him, children. So come with me on this wonderful eternal life truth journey in Christ Jesus. Moreover, brethren, oh, it's not a beautiful word, brethren. Woohoo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received, and in which you stand. This is wonderful, these points, darlings, in which also you are saved, if you hold fast that word which I preached to you, unless you believe in vain. For I delivered, for I delivered to you first of all that which I also received that Christ, wow, wow, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that Christ was buried and that Christ rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now, here's something I want you to do, darlings. I want you to test the words that are coming out of my mouth. And I'm asking you this question, who am I leading you to? Am I leading you to me? Am I leading you to God's house of prayer for all nations? Or am I leading you to the Lord Jesus Christ? If I'm leading you to anything or anyone other than the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not the true Jesus. And it's not the true spirit. I'm on fire. Oh, to be saved by God through his son Jesus. Through the cross of Jesus Christ. Which is the power of God. The bloody cross. I surrendered and submitted to him. <laughs> 
And I went through the cross by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in Christ Jesus. And I'm found in Christ Jesus. If the Lord Jesus Christ was to come back right now, I'm found in Christ Jesus. Because I've no other message but the message of eternal life. John 17, 3. Eternal life means knowing you, the only true God. And knowing, knowing, not that I have known, but knowing, present tense, knowing Jesus Christ, whom you sent. I urge you, darlings, by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of God, what I have received and what I've preached to you now, what I have received, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I've received the gospel of Jesus Christ. I stand in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm saved by the gospel of Jesus Christ because I'm holding fast to that word that was preached to me. And that word that was preached to me is the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why I'm so reassured by the Spirit of God inside me, the witness of the indwelling Spirit of God inside me, that I am truly saved. And I want you, darlings, to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ so that you can receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. That you can be saved by the gospel of Jesus Christ. That you can stand in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that you can hold fast to that word, the Lord Jesus Christ. I can tell you, dear, darlings, according to my experience and according to the word of God, that I have, I've made many mistakes. But I repented because I know who I am in Christ Jesus. Don't be afraid when you fall. Get back up in Christ Jesus. He's there eternally for us. And we're eternally born again of God, children. So what I want to say from the, that which I delivered to you today, from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 and 4, and as you've received it, you believe it. You stand in it. You're saved by the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you're holding fast to that word, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now when the trials, when the tribulations, and when the temptations come, you will stand through them all, children. Because you're saved through the Lord Jesus Christ. You're saved in what he did in his own physical body on the Lord Jesus Christ. The scriptural faith of God that is in me and in you who are truly born again of God. You see, it's scriptural faith. It is not mental faith that will get you nowhere. Just get you more full of pride. But the scriptural faith as I spoke the word of God out by the Spirit of God. You'll know by the Spirit of God. You'll have the faith to believe that Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to go personally for this for you, darlings. That you'll believe as I spoke the word of God out. And I'll speak it out again. That you'll believe, oh yes, the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for me. There had to be a death for God's life. If I don't die to my fallen nature... I can't receive eternal life. You see, I'm not living in my old life any longer. I'm living in the life of God because I'm born again of God because I received his way, his truth, and his life. So my faith is in what Jesus Christ did in his own physical body on the cross of Calvary. My faith is in his crucifixion for Kachi. My faith is in his death for Kachi. My faith is in 
his burial for God, for me. And my faith is in his resurrection for me. Sit back and relax as my mom Cotrice reads various scriptures that will stir up your faith to receive God's healing promises all through the finished work of the cross of Jesus Christ. Be encouraged as you meditate on the healing word of God and the wonderful blessings for you as a child of God. Both of these CDs come with relaxing background music. The healing CD and the blessing CD are a wonderful resource for home, car, church or healing rooms. Log on to our website today and visit our store where you can purchase both of these CDs for a special price of 14 euros. This includes post and packaging. I get disappointments and I do wrong things and I listen to wrong information at times. People who I would have trusted or whatever. But you know what? Because my faith is not in the wisdom of God. My faith is not in the wisdom of man, sorry but it's in the power of God. So when these things come, what happens? The Spirit of God, the indwelling Spirit of God, He witnessed to me what is not of God and what is. So what happens then? Instead of me falling all over the place, this is what I read out to you by the Spirit of God. Because I've received the gospel of Jesus Christ, I'm standing now when I get the disappointment. I'm safe eternally in Christ Jesus. And I'm holding fast to that word that was preached to me. And that word that was preached to me is the Lord Jesus Christ. So my faith is in what the Lord Jesus Christ did for me in his death, in his burial, and in his resurrection. So darlings, this is what I believe has happened to some people, they've heard the word of God and they've said the salvation prayer. But really, it was really from your mental realm, from the faith in your mind. But God is saying, come down into your heart and receive my scriptural faith through the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And then you'll receive it into your spirit. You'll receive what Jesus Christ did. You'll receive your salvation. You'll receive Christ into your heart. You'll receive the truth that he was crucified for you, that he died for you, that he was buried for you, and that on the third day he rose again from the dead. And I can guarantee you, children, in Christ Jesus, as I'm found in Christ Jesus now, that as your faith is in him, in what he did for you, you will stand through the trials and the tribulations. You will stand against all the flattery lies of the enemy. And you will stand against the deception of bypassing the cross. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The doctrine of Christ's death and resurrection is the foundation of Christianity. Now listen to this, children. By the Holy Spirit, remove the cross, the crucifixion, the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and all our hopes for eternity sink at once. Again, I'm going to say it. Remove the cross. Oh, Koch, why are you talking about the bloody cross? Well, it's the bloody cross that has brought me into God's salvation. It's the bloody cross of Jesus Christ that has given me the gift of repentance. It's the bloody cross of Jesus Christ that has given me remission of sins. Was I laid down up to the age of 36? Was I laid down with a bag of potatoes, with a bag of sins? Was I not laid heavy with the bag of sins? Listen, how could I, how could I become a prostitute in the spirit now and dishonor my Savior who gave me through his bloody cross repentance 
remission of sins and eternal salvation. That's what we're talking about. So darling people of God, I want to urge you into the true spirit of God, into the true Jesus Christ and into the true gospel of Jesus Christ and it is according to the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away but the word of God will remain children. Everything that can be shaken is going to be shaken. Remove the cross. Remove the crucifixion. Remove the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and all our hopes for eternity. I'm talking about eternal life will sink at once. As we hold the truth, as we hold fast to the head, the Lord Jesus Christ, as we hold fast the truth, the Lord Jesus Christ, as we hold fast and we're firm, we true obedient believers, we will stand in the day of trial and we are kept faithful by the power of God. What a wonderful thing. Listen, darlings, anyone who says to you <laughs> to become born again of God, that's an easy passage. There's no trials and there's no tribulations. Let me say what God said to me. You give out that message. And he woke me up the other morning with this and it was hilarious. He's so fantastic. <laughs> and he said, Koch, those who preach another gospel by another spirit and another Jesus, and they put my tag on and they're preaching and they're saying in the name of Jesus. He said, the check will bounce. What do you think of that one? The check will bounce. So there's one way, the Lord Jesus Christ. There's one truth, the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's one life, the Lord Jesus Christ. I urge you, if by the Spirit of God, he's convicting you of the wrong you've been doing, just repent and say, I need you, God. Humbling yourself and saying, God, you're right and I'm not. And you're God and I'm not. And that's, that's it. <laughs> It's so fantastic. Now listen here, children. All true obedient believers, Christians, believe that Jesus Christ, believe in Jesus Christ and him crucified and him risen from the dead. And that is the substance of Christ, Christ Christianity. I want to say, children, it is a privilege Children, 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 when I was 36, I was laden down with sin. Oh, sure, I thought I was it. I thought I was the best thing since sliced bread. But you see the things, because I had a lovely hobby. We had money. We had everything we wanted. We had wanted in the flesh now. Are you listening to me? We had two lovely children. We had health. And it wasn't that I was looking for another bit of flesh, another man. But I knew there was an emptiness in my spirit. There had to be more. Why was I here on earth? What was the purpose? Well, surely God told me. So what I want to say to you, children of God, you can have all the tea in China. My mother, you say this to my father, you can have all the tea in China. But what God is all the money in the world? And if I don't have Christ, I go to an eternal dam damnation. I want to urge you, children, I had everything that I wanted, the guy I loved, the children, the two lovely children. We had the house, we had our horses, we had everything. But I was empty. Now you can have those things, the added things. God doesn't want us to live like in poverty, in an old hut or something. No, they're the added things. But I want to say, children, children, children of God, by the grace of God and the truth of God that came through Christ Jesus, as I walked down by the river that morning with the two dogs, oh, how he met me. Oh, how he met me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he saves me. Children of God. The bag of potatoes went off the back. And as I surrendered, to him and say, God, I want to go through you. I want to go through you. I want to go through you. Oh, the cook of a guy. Well, it was so beautiful. And that bag of potatoes, the sins, were 
transfer to the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. And the fear of death. Sure, he bided that for eternity. I have no fear of death. I have the fear of the Lord. Which is the wisdom, the beginning of God, the wisdom of God. Oh, and that old temper, or whatever you want to call it, anger, or whatever you call it. That thing that brings such shame on you. And you think you're written, then all of a sudden you go, wow! I got delivered by God a fear of death, depression, and anger. Everything had already been transferred to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the divine exchange. God so loved me, and God lives inside me now to witness this this truth to you. And God wants to offer now Listen, God's offering, God's offering, listen to it children, God is offering to all mankind now, to all mankind, this is the good news, this is the God news, God is offering to all mankind now, N-O-W, in the name of Jesus, repentance, the remission of sins and salvation. Are you ready for it, children? Are you ready to lead or live or lead or move out of the fallen nature and move into God's nature? Children of God, he's offering to all mankind now repentance, remission of sins and salvation. So open up, children, and receive what God is for you. Eternal life means knowing you the only true God, and knowing Jesus Christ, whom he sent. God loves you, and we're in the time, in the mercy dispensation. He he can deal with your sin now. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that you died for my sins that you were buried and that you rose again on the third day. I repent of my sins and I come to you to receive forgiveness. By faith in your word, I receive you as my personal savior and confess you as my Lord. Come into my heart, give me eternal life, and make me a child of God. I am now saved. Please, Lord Jesus Christ, baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire. I'm walking down by the river barrel. And it has such fantastic eternal value for me. I was coming, walking down here with my two dogs one day and it was like as if I had a bag of potatoes on my back. I was so depressed. Now for two years I had walked down by this river and like that, the thought that came deep within my spirit, do you want to go through me or do you want to go around me? I knew it was God talking to me. I said, God, I want to go through you. And in that instant, oh wow, was it wonderful. I had a fear of death. The fear of death instantly left me. I said, God, you're absolutely real. And he spoke two scriptures into me. There's neither male nor female in Christ Jesus. And the peace that God gives you is to direct you in the decisions you make. I knew immediately that the peace of God would always guard me and guide me into doing the right thing. I said, God, I said, I've anger, I've a temper. And I said, I don't like it. It makes me feel ashamed. And instantly he took it from me. I was like sweet 16. Whoa, like that. 
It was so wonderful. I felt so light. And I want to say to you, darling people, God is there for you. He's not there standing with his stick. He's there with his arms open wide to you. No matter if you're a prostitute, if you're in prison, and you can hear this message today, I pray by the Spirit of God that you will call out and say, God, if you're real, make yourself real. He made himself real to me. I have eternal life, and I want to bless you, and I want to say he's there for you. He loves you. I want to encourage you. Can you hear the, the water flowing? Can you hear the breeze? It is absolutely dynamic. And that's like the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is upon you. And this is the word of the Lord that God has put in my heart for you. He loves you so much that before the foundation of the world, God had chosen you in Christ Jesus to be holy and to be without fault before him in love. God loves you, children. You're made, when you turn to the Lord, you're made in love, by love, true love and for love. Oh, I pray that this will go right into your spirit and you'll become born again. This is the day that the Lord has made. And come on, let's rejoice and be glad in it. The gospel of Jesus Christ has power when you receive the message of salvation. When you stand in this truth, no matter what comes your way, and hold fast that word that sets you free, sets mankind and saves anyone who will believe. What is the word that Paul talked about in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4? He said, For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. We have received a glorious life through Jesus Christ. This particular teaching is available today on our web store and is included in a four-part teaching series called The Way of the Cross. Please visit our web shop today. You can purchase this one special teaching series called The Way of the Cross. We would love to hear from you. Let us know how this program or this particular teaching has encouraged you. Log on to our website and Facebook page and check out our upcoming events and conferences. And thank you so much for watching this program. And we've already prayed for you. We believe that God will meet you right where you're at and release you into your God-given call in Christ Jesus. Join with my mom again next week at the same time and always remember that the cross of Jesus Christ is the power of God for your life. Sit back and relax as my mom Cotrice reads various scriptures that will stir up your faith to receive God's healing promises all through the finished work of the cross of Jesus Christ. Be encouraged as you meditate on the healing word of God and the wonderful blessings for you as a child of God. Both of these CDs come with relaxing background music. The Healing CD and the Blessing CD are a wonderful resource for home, car, church or healing rooms. Log on to our website today and visit our store where you can purchase both of these CDs for a special price of 14 euros. This includes post and package.